Hello and welcome to another We're Not Wizards Presents. This time we are, well it's something different because Ed from Shades of Vengeance who used to come on the show all the time that doesn't because we're on a break, he currently has on Kickstarter an audio drama of all things called The Titans Rise. So this is episode two and it's just a sample version so you can hear. I'm going to put the links in the show notes uh, with all the Kickstarter details but it's something different, you know. Nothing wrong with a little bit of something different now and again, is it? So here we go. Hope you enjoy, hope you like, and check out the links in the show notes if you do like it. And now, on with the drama. Come on, Elliot, cheer up. We're out to have some fun. Uh, I'll be honest, the, the crowd's a bit intense. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about this. I got you a drink! I... Uh, I was gonna pass tonight. It's okay, you don't have to owe me again. It's on me. Thanks for the increase in my allowance for high grades this year. Will you lighten up? Final project starts tomorrow. This is our last night of freedom. Hey. Hey! You pretty. Hey, bug boy! So, sir, could you tell me what happened? Well, certain words were exchanged. Also, certain punches. Then you threw the first punch. The creep had it coming. Sergeant, he did, but it was to protect me. The Zimian worker over there grabbed me and tried to drag me out. I see. So you were defending her? Yes, but... That's what I said, isn't it? (sighs) Very well. You may both go. Mr. Dragon, that was an impressive punch. Not many kids your age can do that to a Zimian. He's right, you know. How do you punch so hard? It's just a question of balance and timing. Oh, and channeling a lifetime's worth of anger and frustration into one sudden movement. (laughs) The final project, which you must complete with a partner of your choice, must be finished within four weeks. It will be concerning the effects of wormhole travel on life forms of any kind. Potential topics include the effect on commerce or on circadian rhythms. Please submit your topics by the end of day tomorrow. Oh, great. So... What are we going to do, Elliot? Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Janelle. Lafley already asked me to work with her. Plus, it'll probably be better if we don't actually... Lafley you, huh? I suppose that has nothing to do with the fact that she's attractive? Come on, I've known her for years. Nothing is happening there. Ugh. I'll meet you later. Gotta run. So, as my idea involves radiation, and and your last project was uh, was about that, I wondered if you might um, consider working with me. Oh, I. Well, we're the logical pairing for this, so, so I thought. Shouldn't you work with Kicktree? He won't work with me for for some reason. Uh, anyway, it, it makes sense when when we're tied for top to have different partners to find out who's better. Won't Janelle be upset though? 
I wouldn't want her to think. N- no, no, don't don't worry about that. She she's fine with it. I I mean we're just working together, right? Okay. Well, it's a great project, so I think. Yes, I'd love to work with you. Great. I'll, I'll drop you a message when I manage to reserve lab time then. Okay, sounds good. I'll arrange the specimens. That was close. I mean, Janelle would be a fallback, but I'd rather work with someone who has a brain. I'm just not sure this method is ethical. Didn't Professor Bramble say that we would be marked on that? Well, we only have three hours of lab time, and it's the only way we're going to finish. And it's going to die anyway. That's the point of exposing it to the radiation. Well, that's only if you're right that long exposure to the inside of wormholes is dangerous. I'm right. Maybe, but that's not scientific process. If we accelerate their metabolism and they don't die, they will suffer for hours before dying of organ failure. Seriously? Hours of suffering is what you're worried about. I mean it, Elliot. I'd like to find a different method. Maybe a longer time frame. We're here now. We do it now. No. I can no longer agree to this. It's unethical, which will lose us marks. But even more so, it's wrong. I don't know why you can't see that. If you leave, you'll get zero for the project. I won't lie for you. I'll explain it to Professor Bramble. I trust him to believe me. Fine. I'll finish it myself. I got rejected by Open Technology, sir. They said I failed biochemistry. Your class. That is correct, Mr. Dragon. I passed your class, sir. I got the top grades in your class, in fact. Now, I understand that mistakes get made. If you wouldn't mind taking a little time to write me a letter of recommendation, explaining your error, then- There is no error. Your methodology was flawed. Excuse me? Every experiment that I conducted produced perfect results. Perhaps so. However, your experiment caused harm to the creatures you were meant to be studying. Don't be ridiculous! They barely even had a nervous system! I see you, Mr. Dragon. The others may not, but with long life comes large experience. You may fool them with your mask of civility, but you cannot judge a sentient being by how they treat those with equal power. You can judge them only by how they treat those put in their power. You have shown who you are. To me, at least. Are you kidding me? I don't give an anaesthetic to some tiny insect before a lethal experiment, and you fail me out of the job I have spent my whole life working towards. The grade will be overturned when it comes up for peer review. This will harm my academic career, and you will have your perfect record. Then what was the damned point? I believe in minimizing harm. Mr. Dragon. You would have fooled the people in open technology. Your career would have risen like a comet. They would have given you the power you so desperately crave. They would have given power to a human who does not care what harm he causes. And I have prevented that. You will not leave a gap in your personal record while you wait. You will take another job. The universe will be a little safer. My tenure here, if that is what it costs, is a fair trade. (laughs) 
Smurty our security? Really? Yes, Janelle. Smurty your security. No. Open technology. I get that. One of the Zimian companies that are going to get folded into open tech next quarter would make sense too. As well as you give an easy angle to work, but Smurdias? Why would someone with your brains want to work for Smurdias security? First of all, because everybody needs good engineers, Janelle. The universe isn't neatly divided up into seven sections with each person going to the correct section. We aren't the bugs, we don't have casts assigned to us at birth. I really wish you wouldn't use that word. What? Bugs? You think that they don't have some word they use for us in their chitter-clatter language? Anyway, it isn't an insult. They are bugs, and Velithi are plants, just like we are apes and the Yulutians are squid. We might be highly evolved examples of those species that have picked up intelligence along the way, but... But I'm a scientist. I prefer to refer to things as what they are. We've been through this, Elliot. That word has connotations. You can't just ignore history. You can't ignore what happened to the Zimians when people like us called them things like that. The bug war again? I'm pretty sure they gave as good as they got. Well, not quite, otherwise I would be sitting in Bug University right now, talking to you in bug clicks and planning my exciting new career in cocoon washing. As if you have ever washed anything in your life! <laughs> Seriously though, Elliot, why did you apply for Smyrnia Security? Is this some sort of practice run for the real job you want? Is an offer from them meant to give you leverage at open tech? You're like the smartest guy I know. What's your play here? There is no play. There's no scheme, no last minute twist. I applied for the job at Smurty or Security because I want the job at Smurty or Security. I approve of the work they do. They keep the consortium safe and I want to help people. You want to help people? More Tasca's pharmaceuticals could use you. I know you're stronger on physics, but you can make a difference. Save lives. People don't sign up for Smyrdia security to help people. Alright, alright, maybe I don't want to help people, but... Just listen a moment. Smyrdia security has the most advanced research programs going, and that is pretty fascinating to me. Smyrtios has a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't get in other companies where the squ the Yulutians get hiring and promotion priority. And, in engineering right now, Zimians are taking all the best jobs. With Smurtios, I at least have a chance to climb the ladder before I have to compete with them. Alright, so maybe there are some good reasons to go to Smurtios. But do you really want to be out there on the firing line when the next crazy, scary alien invasion comes along? I'm no coward. I would have thought you would know that by now. <laughs> there is a difference between arguing with some guy in a nightclub and being the target when lasers are flying. Well, I guess you'd better hope that we don't end up going to war then. Otherwise, there'll be nobody for you to use as a body pillow. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. You know that. Yeah, I know. I can't follow you to Smyrdia security. I've got my own plans. My father... Yeah, I know that. I... Everything is temporary, Janelle. Maybe, if we're lucky, we can bump into each other a few years down the line, when things are more settled. Yeah, when we are both fat and rich and stationed on Tyrannus, we can meet up again. You can get me that drink you owe me. How about I owe you two drinks after you take me out tonight to celebrate me killing the interview this afternoon? <laughs> you are lucky I'm so tolerant of your colony boy made good grifting. Pick me up from the Smurty or Security HR building at six? Maybe I'll be feeling richer. Take you out for dinner. If signing up to get yourself shot is all it takes for you to spend some of your student loan on training your girlfriend right, I would have had you at their offices first day of first year. <laughs> <laughs>